Here comes the story of the hurricane Like a temple lost, like crying tears in rain Hello there, everyone. Uh, bonvenue pour le podcast. Is, is that how you say that? No, that says for the podcast. That makes sense. To the podcast in French. There we go. That works. My most used French sentence when I was in France, in Belgium, in Luxembourg. Hey, because I'm, I'm, I'm amazingly well-traveled. Oh, yeah, I know. Imagine traveling nowadays, right? Fucking hell, man. You say you're traveling right now. You're fucking demonized, man. Jesus, are you wearing a mask? I mean, like, come on, like, realistically. I wear my mask all the time right now. Uh, has anyone realized this, right? That um, wearing a mask uh, in the cold is so much nicer. Why have we not been doing this in the past? Like, I don't understand this. Like, uh, I suppose in Asian countries they were doing it, but it's not necessarily cold there. It's usually uh, quite fucking humid and warm and stuff. Uh, but yeah, like, realistically, man, I, I literally just wear my mask all the time now. Even when I'm walking, like, away up in the hills, like, onto, like, some, uh, you know, forest track or whatever the fuck. I'm like, dude, it's way warmer. Like, my face doesn't hurt, you know? And I'm, because I'm, like, a, like a fair-skinned boy, um, and I'm Scottish, uh, I get a very red nose whenever I walk uh, in the cold. And I don't like having a red nose. It's never been something I've liked to do. Um, so, yeah, like, fucking wearing a mask is actually stonks. Even when this pandemic's over, I'm gonna still be wearing a mask. I've realised this now, uh, and I'm embracing it wholeheartedly. I have a gorgeous mask now. Uh, shout out to Yander Clothes. Thank you, Jess, for um, recommending them. Uh, absolute badass. I've got like a, a dragon on my mask, dude, and it's got some like some writing on it that I don't understand. Uh, but it, but it has a fucking you know a dragon on it, man. A black and white. Uh, well, the the mask is black and it's white uh, for the dragon and the writing. I don't understand. Uh, but no, it's great. I'm very, I'm very, I'm very happy I've got this mask now because I used to just have a blue mask and having just a blue mask, I don't know. It never suited my outfits, you know. And I think whenever I go outside, I just, I really like people to see me as someone that's fashionable. I'm the most unfashionable motherfucker that you'll ever, 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 you'll ever meet. Like you'll, you'll ever meet. I'm telling you. <clears throat> When it comes down to it, right, I could not give a flying fuck. If I have a hoodie that I am comfortable in, I'm wearing that. It doesn't matter where it is. Uh, to see me in a suit or uh, dressed up or even to have a conscience of thinking, um, oh, do these socks match my belt? I have never thought that. I've literally had the same belt on. Hold on, do you want to hear it? Hold on. Oh, There we go. You can hear my belt. Look at that. Oh, Jesus. Oh, gee. I, I was sitting down and I pulled off my belt. This is not stocks. Um, but yeah, dude, I've had the same belt for like nine, ten years. Uh, legit. I've done everything with this belt. I don't mean like that, you fucking weirdo. What I mean is I've been everywhere with this belt. So I've been... Uh, I mean, fuck, like, my first job as a gardener, uh, at Inverary Castle, working for the Duke of Argyle. Uh, I was wearing this belt, right? And it's like, it's so worn down now that, um... It's kind of weird, like, I, uh, like, I, <laughs> because I'm a small boy, I have to make my own holes, um, inside leather belts, like, with, with a knife, um, because, like, you know, I'm an absolute bam, I always have a wee pen knife with me, um, so, pardon me, um, yeah, I just, like, c cut a hole in the fucking thing, but, but the problem is, is I've cut a hole, um, in this, and because I've worn it for so long, it's now a massive hole, so whenever I actually hook my belt into that bit, it kind of pops away, so it makes it even looser, it, like, it, it's really nice in the beginning, but then as soon as I start walking, it pops down, um, maybe it's just the fact that I'm getting fat, <laughs> I'm kidding, I don't think I'm getting fat, I don't think so, um, I can still, like, you know, climb up shit, and, uh, you know, uh, I think I look okay in the mirror, you know, I don't think I'm pudgy yet, um, but yeah, what was I talking about? I was gonna say something, something a bit French, wasn't it? Um, oh yes, my, my most used sentence is, uh, polyvu anglais? Which means, uh, do you speak English? Uh, and the amount of times that the French cunts would be like, uh, merde, you know, they'd fucking, like, push me off, you know, like, no, no, merde, motherfucker, and they start, like, like, shouting shit, or, like, uh, mumbling shit in French, um, uh, yeah, because, like, I don't know, there's something about the, the French that they don't want to speak English. I can understand, I mean, the fucking English are bastards and tried to kill all the French back in the day, didn't they? Um, I have been learning Japanese, Russian, and French. And the reason why is because I can't sleep. I have a very... Oh, la, 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 sorry for the microphone. Right there. I have a very overactive imagination in mind. And I go to lie down in my bed and I'm like... Ah, here we go again. Oh shit, here we go again. And so such, what what is happening is I've been uh just lying there like 
I, I'm cuddling with my cat, and this is like a super relaxing moment, but I just can't sleep. It's just not happening. So, I'm gonna load up Duolingo. So, yeah, I've been, like, doing Duolingo, and I don't give a flying fuck about streaks. Now, this is a thing, right? Because I don't do it every day. Um, I'll do it most days. Or whenever I do it, 24 hours has already lapsed or whatever, right? But, like, the amount of fucking notifications that Duolingo sends you, and it guilt trips you into making you think that you're an absolute evil, tyrannical bastard, right? Because it tells me, um, after, like, asking, you know, like, uh, basically, it's like a condescending notification. It says, you can't learn Japanese if you don't practice it. Mm hmm that's right, you can't learn it, right? And I'm like, oh, all right, I understand that, dude, but it's like two in the morning, you know, I'm having my dinner. Yes, I have my dinner at two in the morning, right? Don't judge me. In fact, judge me as hard as you want, right? Well, because I judge everyone else, okay? I think we all judge each other equally, okay? I think that's a beautiful, ideal society. <laughs> Um, right, ah, uh, yeah, and then there's another one where if you if you stop, if you don't interact with the notifications, it then says, we're going to stop sending you notifications because you're ignoring us. And I'm like, what? Dude, you make me feel so bad. You make me feel like I'm literally, because they've got a little mascot, like a little, like, uh, birdie guy, right? And he looks at you as if to be like, oh, why don't you come and see me and learn Japanese? And it's like, what the fuck, bro? I I'm busy. I'm doing other things, you know, but I it makes me feel terrible. Um, so yeah, fuck you, Duolingo, but I also love you. Um, because uh, free language learning, pog you. Um, the thing is, though, man, Jesus Christ, the amount of adverts and the amount of times it asks you or tries to trick you into clicking um, to get pro, like, you have to know what you're clicking on that app, dude, because it's like, there's so many times it's just like, uh, like, uh, like you get five health, or five, um, lives, um, you got five hearts, so if you fuck up something, then, uh, it takes away a heart, and if you get to zero, then you have to wait, um, a while, or use, like, the in-app currency that you get for, um, you know, like, doing, doing different, uh, like, modules, like, the basic module and stuff, um, but, um, yeah, like, if you, like, every once in a while, I would say, um, here's a taster of unlimited health, or unlimited lives, or hearts, or whatever the fuck it says, right? And then all of a sudden, it's, uh, it's infinite, and you can fuck up as much as you like, right? But I've kind of found out, like, th th it only does that for one round, and then it's, like, to make you go and buy it, so you can be like, oh, I can fuck up all the time, and not, uh, you know, I have to stop learning the language. The way to get around that is to, like, quadruple check your answer. Because all you need to do is whenever there's, like, a, like something that comes up, um, like, in Japanese, uh, expensive is Takai. Um, was it Goshu as well for, for rice or some shit? Ah, oh, dude, I forget. C see, the problem is, because I learn it in the really early in the morning. And also, I'm not going to lie, I think I should um, focus more on learning French because uh, they have the same alphabet as us, right? They, they have the same, uh, what, what do you call it, phonetic? Is it phonetic? I think it is, right? But at least, like, the letters I, I recognize. Japanese is just, like, swirly lines, you know, very pretty swirly lines, uh, uh, for sure, um, but you only um, know the sounds, which I know is a great way to learn, but um, realistically, though, dude, I, like, I don't know why I want to learn Japanese, I just find it fucking fascinating, like, uh, I love watching all the videos of, like, um, Japanese documentaries and stuff, like, I've been watching a bunch of, like, wildlife ones, too, and it's just really fucking cool, dude, um, but French is more applicable, because even, like, playing games on Valorant, the amount of times that I've um, uh, had people that are from France or Morocco or whatever, um, and I'm like, dude, that'd be so fucking cool if I could converse in French with them a little bit, you know? It gives me some use for it, like, in a pandemic, because you're not going to be meeting many French people in the pandemic, I don't think. Um, so it is what it is. I have here a premium pink distilled gin and tonic. That's right. I am very much a middle-aged mother uh, when it comes down to my drinking. I adore, well, I mean, I also really like beer, right? But I drink so much red wine, white wine, and gin. I, I fully uh, credit that all to my mother. Um, however, she's been very good as of late, and not been drinking for a good while. Um, very proud of my mum, you know, she's a, she's a wonderful woman, an absolute queen. Um, and the even better thing is, is they finally sold the house! Fuck yes! They've moved into their new house, um, after a full month of, uh, being postponed, dude. Which is, uh, absolutely wonderful. I don't even know the address of my mum and dad's new house. I have been cast away down here in Camelton. Uh, and it's just, just fuck Camelton, eh? Uh, <laughs> who are you? Uh, no, but for real, like, I don't know where they live right now, which is really kind of weird. This is the first time I've ever experienced this. Like, um, I know the general area. I know, like, kind of 
whereabouts they are. It's like behind the swimming pool in Loch Gilpet somewhere. But I don't know their address. I don't know the number. I've seen pictures of it. Um, I mean, obviously I could just ask, but you know, I just think it's right now it's a bit weird because I just don't know where they are. Um, but my dad is coming down tomorrow um, to collect uh, the two seater couches um, for them to have in the living room because they've been... Um, well, actually, like, in the beginning, they were literally sitting on the lawn chairs. They brought the lawn chairs inside into the living room. They were pretty comfy, though, like, um, proper, you know, like, decking chairs that, like, swing and stuff, like, you can rock in them. Um, but it was just weird, you know, like, the living room was completely bare, and it just had some of those, like, garden chairs in there. Um, but then they, for, like, two weeks, stayed at my mum's friend's cottage um, that was joined on to her, my mum's friend's house. So, uh, they were staying there for a bit, so they did have, like, couches and stuff, but it was just weird because it was a kind of limbo state, you know? But, um, yeah, so my dad's coming down tomorrow, and I had to, uh, take the two-seater apart, because he's taking, he's bringing, like, the trailer and stuff, we're gonna need to, like, fasten it down and fit it in, um, <laughs> but the thing is, right, is, uh, they asked me to wrap it up in, like, a cling film, right, so I have this big roll of cling film, it's a big fuck-off, like, uh, it's, like, a as big as a rolling pin, probably a bit longer, and it's, like, super thick and just full of, like, the plastic wrapping, right? I had to lift this bad boy up, and I'd say it weighs about at least 30 kilograms. It's a, it's a, it's a bulky motherfucker, right? And I'm having to wrap this plastic around it and around it, right? And this plastic, it literally sounds like a, like, like a, like a Star Wars aircraft, um, about, to, like, you know whenever they get damaged and they're going, Rrrr! it sounds like that, like whenever I'm pulling it. It's like, Rrrr! It's, it's hard to kind of remake the noise, not going to lie to you. Um, but it sounds mental. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, dude. Because, you know, I mean, it's not that late. It's about 8 o'clock right now. Um, but I'm like, fuck, man. Like, this is in the living room. And I know where my neighbor's living room is. It's exactly through the wall. And I'm like, fuck, I wonder what she, Christ she thinks is going on. Because she can hear a bunch of banging as well. Because I'm, like, uh, tipping up the couch and all that shit. Christ! Um, but, yeah, I sorted that out. So that's all my... my um, Couches, well, I mean, I've got, like, a three-seater as well. Um, <coughs> oh, God. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's all That's all sorted out right now. And it's uh, it's just waiting on my dad. I don't know when my father is actually arriving tomorrow. Um, I'll see you at some point. Um, I did meet my uncle today as well. Um, he is getting a Freeview box, um, which is, uh, if you don't have Freeview, if you still have Sky, like a Megalo, what the hell are you doing? Why do you still have Sky, bro? Um, uh, like, re legit, like, either get that shit online, or, um, I mean, obviously, uh, you know, you, like, you, you pay, pay for it, uh, you know, um, or, uh, go and get yourself a Freeview box, because, like, it literally has all the channels that most people watch on Sky anyway, um, but it's free, you know, you just buy the first thing, um, obviously a TV license, whatever, really Realistically though, dude, I have never paid for a TV license because I watch Netflix um, and Amazon Prime, um, which is actually something of interest for me. Like, who the fuck still has... I want to see those numbers. Like, it has to be, like, the middle-aged to, um, like, older generation that still have cable TV, but, like, proper Sky TV or Virgin or whatever the fuck people use. Um, the thing is, though, is I'm thinking about this. I think a lot of parents do get Sky simply for the kids' channels, but, like, that's so easy to get either online, um, and then, like, the kid has an iPad, or you just have, like, a PC set up, or, like, a laptop or something to watch it on, um, which would probably save you a lot more money, or you can just use YouTube, which would save you shit tons, obviously, um, and, like, if you brought them up on that, so you're not just br bringing them up on Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network and Boomerang or whatever the fuck. Um, I wonder what any, if there's any new channels nowadays, man. I'm trying to think. 601 was Cartoon Network. 602 was Cartoon Network plus one. Oh, yeah. Uh, the 603 was Boomerang. Uh, 604, um, I think it was, like, Nick. Just Nick. And then 605, I can't remember. Maybe Nick plus one. And then Nickelodeon was uh, 606. I remember that. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I don't know if they changed any of that at all. It's, it's, it's interesting how those numbers get lodged in your mind. Like 520s for Discovery. Um, what else? What else? I mean, 101 is like uh, the starting one, right? Um, fuck, dude. I'm just like 612 for uh, Disney XD, I think. Disney XD. Um, all that kind of stuff, man. It's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, so the cats here, they are, you know, pretty settled, um, somewhat, you know, they know where they're living, they know where their home is, they can go out for a pee and uh, know how to get back, and because my mom and dad have just got the house, they are going to have to move back to them, which means they're going to have to be uprooted and taken to another house. And I feel so bad for my baby boys. Um, Mackie and Brody. Mackie's like the tiny one. He's actually a lot better at going outside and Brody's like the big motherfucker. Uh, Brody's been like a super sook recently, actually. He's been jumping up on me. 
like um like when I'm sitting on this on this uh. Uh, just in the seat here, and there is no room for him. He is so big, bro. Um, and the thing is, though, is he does that thing. You know, cats like kind of need with their their claws. You know, because they're I don't know. It's, it's like a thing. I think it was like um, whenever they're kittens, they do that to get milk from their mom. Um, yeah, like it's like a super relaxed and comfortable thing that they do whenever they are super relaxed and comfortable. Um, well, he does that, but he is a fucking lion. Right, he's a big boy tiger. He's got those big ass claws, you know. And he's like doing that on my bare knee. Um, even if it's not, even if it's through jeans, man, it is so sore. So I need to keep like pushing his paws away from me. And he's like, he keeps looking up at me, like, "What the fuck you doing? Like, wh why, why are you pushing me away?" And I'm like, "Dick, do you understand that you're hurting me? Like, like legit." I saw um. When I was uh, going to my bed, I saw my knees, and they were covered in scratches. Like, uh, it was unreal, man. Um, but yeah, I, mean, I suppose it's just like the trade-off of having a pooty cat. It is what it is. Oh, my days, bro. I have had enough of my drains. My bath, right? Oh, I woke up, right? And I was like, well... I'm up now. Let's go have a shower. Yaldy dally. I walk through, and there's still water in the bathtub. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? You know, it hasn't drained overnight. Because um, before, like, I knew there was, like, a blockage. But I thought, oh, it will eventually go away. I put bleach down, you know, I plunged it. It was all right. Um, I was like, oh, shit, here we go again. So what I did is I started plunging it. And moss came out. Legit moss that grows on the roof was inside my pipes and is inside my pipes, right? I was like, what the fuck is going on? And it was mental because, like, as I was plunging it down, it was squirting, like, out of the, uh, you know, the overflow part of the bath. It was, like, squirting out there. But it was fucking moss that was getting pulled out. And I was like, oh, my Jesus. So there's moss in here? Like, alive organisms in there, dude. Um, so I was like, fuck, how do I do this? So I went outside, and it was pissing down, right? And I had a gander that just looked like, what is this pipe connected to? How does it work? Because um, obviously, it's come from the roof. So I'm like, it has to somehow be connected to the drain pipe, you know, something like that. I was like, okay. And I looked out, and there's actually two separate pipes for one for the toilet and one for the sink and one for the bathroom, right? So I was like, uh, properly utilizing my plumbing experience, which is nil, um, in order to actually discover what the fuck was wrong. Um, and I saw like a wee pipe jutting out of the of the wall going into this red pipe, which was uh, like all the way up to the top of the roof. And I was like, well, that's our fucking culprit right there, isn't it? That wee pipe. It's like moss has fallen in and got clogged in where that little pipe joins in. Or maybe even above it, I don't know. But, like, uh, maybe there's, like, a little ridge and, like, moss has landed on that and it's just kind of, like, built and grown and uh, just completely clogged it up. Um, and so, yeah, I was looking at that and I was like, how the fuck do I get up there? And I did have a ladder. And it's one of those ladders that has, like, three um, little ladders all connected to it. And so, like, I was like, right, let's fucking do this. You know, it's pissing down, man. Uh, I'm already soaked, but I don't give a fuck, man. I'm like, I need to get this drain clear! So what I do is I, uh, you know, I set up the ladder. When I first do it, I'm like, okay, how does this ladder work? So I'm like, do you build it whenever you set it against the wall or do you build it and then like push it up onto the wall? And I was like, in my wisdom, um, I hadn't had a coffee at this point either, so I'm working on fumes, you know. I uh, just just try, trying to trying to wake myself up a little bit. I was like, fuck it, I'm going to build the three ladders first and then push it up onto the wall. That that works out, right? So I go to do that, and as I'm pushing it, it stops. I'm like, what the fuck? Why are you stopped? You know, like, I'm trying to push it up. And I look up, and I'm literally almost snapping the telephone cable, which is connected to the house, over to one of the poles. I'm like, oh, Jesus. So I have to pull that back down. Like, I'm surprised I don't get electrocuted. Um, and yeah, I pull that back down, and then I, I make the, the ladder small again. Um, make the ladder small again, um, and then I, you know, build it up onto the wall, and push it up, and I'm like, this is the most rickety-ass, uh, ladder I've ever seen in my life. Like, what is going on with this? And I remember, I remember my granda utilizing this ladder in order to get up here. Like, my granda's, uh, you know, hasn't been up this ladder in a, at least, like, five years, and he's passed now, so I'm like, fuck me, man, this ladder is ancient. Um, and as I'm climbing it, it just fucking falls apart on me at the top, you know?
And I was like, right, this is like... And also, it wasn't sitting level, so what I did is I put the oven... There's like an old oven outside uh, that I haven't been able to get rid of because I don't have a vehicle, but my dad's um, coming up, uh, so maybe we can get rid of that. I don't know, actually. We'll probably work it out at some point. But anyway, that's not the point. Um, I put the oven behind the ladder so that I basically had like a failsafe so that if it did slip, then it would uh, bounce off the oven, and because the oven's heavy, it would stay there. You know what I'm saying? Um, and because I'm on the top, it would, uh, you know, it would be balanced. It'd be all right. However, I got halfway up, as I say, and it just, like, it was so unsafe. I was slipping off of the rungs because it was pissing down. Um, and, yeah, the top of it was just, like, super flimsy. And I was like, yeah, this isn't worth it, bro. So what I decided to do in my infinite wisdom again was um, shove the hose. So there's a hose beside it. Shove the hose up the drain pipe. You know, I'm, like, fucking just, like, you're, like, feeding it up, feeding it up. And it kept getting caught and whatever. Um, and then I'd blast the hose on so that it would clean the pipe from the bottom up. Which does make sense, but it's obviously more difficult because you're fighting against gravity then. Um, however, it just didn't work. It cleared it a little bit, you know, but it really wasn't perfect. So, yeah, I don't know what the fuck is going on with my drains, um, like how we're going to clean it. Um, we either need to get, like, a, a better ladder and some, some, like, tool to be able to, like, shove down the pipe. Or even just to get a better ladder, climb up there... And put the hose down. That would be great. I mean, it was a pretty simple job to do. Um, but my dad's arriving tomorrow, so him and I will uh, work it out. Or at least I can show him. And he can be like, oh, yes, I'll get this guy to come up and help you. Wherever fuck. I don't know. Um, we'll see how it works out. Um, but yeah, it's going to be good to see my dad, actually. Um, I'm glad that they've managed to sort out everything with the house. Because, yeah, it's, uh, it's an absolute nightmare, man. Um, like, uh, what they've been through. Because especially whenever you think... On a set date, which would have been the 7th of January, when everything was going to be clear, and then like a day before it, uh, they, they just said, yeah, well not a day before, it was like a few days before, um, they just said there was an issue with the other house, and so everything got put on hold, um, so yeah, it's uh, just one of, one of those things, man! Um, but yeah, um, I, I think uh, that that's the main majority of things that's been going on, I did um, try and establish another schedule, Omega LOL, um, on my... <laughs> <laughs> on my streaming, and it worked for the first day, lol, um, but then the second day was when I had to fight the drains, and the third day was today, and I don't know, I just today's been, uh, different, uh, I don't really know, I had to do the stuff for mum and dad, um, I've been looking at my stocks and stuff, um, and I've just been, you know, talking to mum and dad about, uh, getting the house and stuff, and I just, time gets away from me, I'm not very good at timekeeping whatsoever, Time is all relative, man. It just all bounces around in my head like uh, it's all the same experience. I don't know anything anymore. Um, but if you have been in streams or have stuck around, um, thank you very much. What we're doing, which I think is super cute, right, is um, I saw Soraya Slays, who's a Scottish streamer. Um, she's fucking brilliant. She works for Twitch and she's like a partner and stuff. She's really fucking cool. Um... I don't know if I have met her, I don't think I have, um, because we had, like, a big Scottish meetup, um, uh, of streamers and people that were into Twitch, uh, and stuff, um, that, that was, like, fuck, when was that, dude, 2019, I think, oh my god, it was, yeah, it would have been 2019, oh my days, it was, like, two years ago, uh, it's because it was, like, early, was it, maybe was it July, fuck, I can't mind, maybe in August, I don't fucking know, anyway, um, yeah, she did this thing where she added everyone to let them know that for February the 14th, so Valentine's Day, ooh la la, instead of sitting there being like, why don't I have a Valentine's, ooh, or uh, does anyone want a solo queue with me? <laughs> uh, what she said was um, she made this thing called a kudo board, which is something that you can, it's like a wall that you can post a message to and everyone can see it, right? And it's just to thank someone in the community and show some love, uh, not necessarily romantic. I mean, if you want to try and pull on there, you fucking can, you know. I'm going to shoot my shot as well, I think, you know. Trying to trying to get some poon, you know. You know, you know, fuck, you know what might happen out there. You know, that that uh, that uh Rainbow Swoop guy, you know, he's looking kind of cute right now. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, but for real. Um, So, uh, I've got one of those, which is uh really nice. So, people have been posting some stuff in there. And also, there's been some good spam. It's like, spam this dove to show some love, which I think is really cute. Um, And, yeah, I don't know. It's nice, dude. And so, I need to finish it, though. Obviously, Valentine's Day is still nine days away. It's still quite a while. I've actually seen so many posts about Valentine's Day. And I'm like, dude, it's fucking ages away. Why are people still posting today? Should you not post, like, on the day or before? Um, 
like just before i don't know um uh, but yeah it's it's quite cute so there's a hundred possible posts on there um if you want to post something up there just to kind of say like thank you to someone or thank you to the entire community as a whole um thank you to me if i have done anything i feel like i uh have severely let down my community over the past well just because of life i mean i don't necessarily blame myself um 2020 was a hard year um, for me and I think for a lot of people and uh, you still feel that reverberating effect you know it still affects you um, and sometimes you just kind of need well I've noticed I needed a lot of me time and I still do you know um, or just like time that you're not having a massive light in your face and a camera and everyone looking at your every move you know um, well I mean it's a v very much a privilege to say that but at the same time yeah, uh, you can't be doing that all the time, especially when you're not vibing, you're not feeling too good in yourself. Um, but yeah, uh, I think it's a really cute thing to do. So if you'd like to post, I will post a um, link underneath um, on the YouTube on the YouTube uh, uh, description. I couldn't think of that word. Jesus. Um, but yeah, and also I've been thinking a lot about having guests on the podcast. I think it's a good idea, but I don't think I should be making it so that this is going to be a podcast that is mainly guests because I am not good at organizing that and I think that it makes it more um, interesting whenever there's suddenly a guest instead of all the time having guests because linking up with people um, and getting on the same times as them and just like just finding time to do it and also just having the energy to actually speak to someone properly and have good energy that is so much more energy than just uh, me loading up and talking to a microphone I am so much more comfortable talking to you guys via this microphone um, by myself than I am uh, always having a guest on or always having the anxiety and the pressure of having a guest on i will still do it um but i just think that uh yeah i i can't i can't just always push for having guests it will happen though like it's i'm not shutting down having guests on obviously i just feel like i'm more i'm more i'm, a, I'm more stronger suited for doing podcasts just me um, it is called the Stephen Lee Podcast, after all, I suppose. Um, and, you know, uh, we'll see how it goes. I still have Greg's one to edit. Um, that is a fucking shit show, though. <laughs> As I've said multiple times. Um, but yeah, we'll work that one out and see how that's going. Um, but yeah, no, I don't know. I think, um, life right now is interesting. I'm so glad that mom and dad have managed to, um, settle themselves down a little bit. See how that's going, um, with the house. Uh, hopefully they get the money in soon. It's a bit weird. It takes a little while. Um, it was quite funny actually though. When I, uh, when mum put it in the group chat on Facebook and I congratulated her, um, Richard and Adam, my brothers, they both congratulated then put their bank account, uh, numbers and sort codes. <laughs> As if to be like, pause, champ, any, any donations? Any donations, it will? Uh, which is kind of funny. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's good, man. Like, um, I'm proud of them. This is the first time that they've, well, not the first time, I suppose they moved on from, uh, the old house as well but you know um the first time in 18 years um they've actually done that you know dude there's this saying that i read on reddit reddit on reddit um that i think is fucking cool man it was just like it was ask reddit i think and it was what is a question that you can ask someone to learn a lot more about them and there was this question which i absolutely it absolutely floored me um it was just what was the last thing you did for the first time so what was the last thing you did for the first time? And I just think that's such a good question. Because if you sit there pondering like I did, I was like, what the fuck, dude? What have I done for the first time recently? I'm like, oh my god, dude, I'm so boring. What, what do you mean? I haven't done anything. Um, and then I realized, like, I suppose I have. Um, like, uh, learning Japanese for the first time. Um... That's about it, all I can think of right now. Um, started playing uh, Celeste for the first time, but it's not necessarily interesting. I think the most interesting thing is learning Japanese. Um, I don't know. I just think it's such a good question because it makes you question if you're actually living or if you're just kind of coasting. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. I suppose um, it's hard in COVID times to do new things right now, um, unless it's a more personal, creative thing. So I want to learn archery, piano, uh, violin, uh, get better on my guitar, um, and actually understand how a harmonica properly works, because I know some of it, you know, I can do, like... Which is always fun, you know, but realistically, I don't know any songs on my harmonica, you know? 
I just I know the the like three songs. I know I know uh, Love Me Do by the Beatles. Um, it's nine o'clock on a Saturday. I need to sing that, dude. It's actually twenty three minutes past eight on a Friday. Uh, Billy Joel, uh, Piano Man, obviously. Um, and then another one. Um, I think is it Rolling Stone? I think it is. I mean, that's just, it's uh, from uh, Like a Rolling Stone by Bob Dylan, but it's not really much. It's just literally breathing in and out, you know? Um, what's the other one? It's like... I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to think. There's, there's. Whenever you play a C harmonica, there's like certain notes that you hear. There's like, yo, that's super similar to a Bob Dylan song because it is. Because like so much of his shit is on C. Um, I know nothing about music now. No, that's the thing. Like, I legit know nothing. Um, and so when it comes down to it, uh, I just fucking wing it, bro. I adore music, but I know nothing, you know. Um, speaking of music, though, my friend Joe Verse, he has been absolutely killing it recently, man. I'm so proud of that guy. Um, just, uh, if you haven't um, followed him already, um, I highly recommend it. Joe Verse, so J-O-E-V-E-R-S-E. Um, he's on Spotify and SoundCloud, and he's been releasing so much different genres and really exploring his creative limits, man. And it's so fucking cool, dude. Um, I love seeing friends actually really embrace their creative side, side and get things done. Um, I think I'm somewhat creative, but I always feel like I'm just behind. Like, I don't... I don't have necessarily something that I'm super creative with. I'm not an artist. I'm not a musician. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I. I just feel like my my creativity is like my wild mind, um, my imagination and stuff, my ability to just fucking I don't know, make something out of nothing, like uh, make something enjoyable, maybe more listenable than uh, usual. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Like uh, whenever I think about it, I I don't necessarily see myself as super uh, creative, but I suppose I am <laughs> when I think about it. But. Yeah, I think if you overthink being creative, if you overthink having some form of, like, I don't know, special ability about yourself, then you just become an egotistical, narcissistic bastard, and then you lose what made you amazing in the first place, you know? Or even if you still have it, people think you're a dick, you know what I'm saying? The worst thing of all time is someone who's super toxic but great at their craft. Um, I, like, there's voice actors, apparently, that are like that. Um, I mean, oh, shit. Well, I suppose I also do voice acting. Sorry for that fucking mic, dude. This microphone, it's amazing when you don't touch it. See, if you touch the cable, it goes... <laughs> fucking, like, you know, hisses at you, man. It's mental. Um, it's like a fucking, uh, like, I don't know, um... What do you call Wolverine man? Like, you fought with a Wolverine man and it tries to rip your face off. Have you guys seen an anteater's, uh, defense pose? If you run and, like, chase an anteater, there was this, like, uh, big massive fire, and there was a fireman chasing an anteater, like, fuck off, dick, fuck off, there's a fire, I'm trying to save your life here. What he did is as he's running away, he turns around to him and T-poses, he T-poses in his face, like, as if to say, come on, bro, come at me, bro. Remember, remember that shit, remember, come at me, bro. He's like, you want champ? You want champ? You got no fans. Uh, but, like, that's legit what they're doing. I think it's fucking amazing. Um... Well, if I was talking about, oh, about, about being creative and stuff, yeah, I always see like creativity as like um, it's like a like a whisper of the gods that like kind of like is always floating in the air, and like when you just get one of those ideas and it comes into you, like you've got to listen to it, you've got to actually act in it at that moment, otherwise you will forget it. And I am one of the most forgetful per- people I know, I think, I'm like, uh, <laughs> but yeah, for sure, like my my mind's a sieve, I legit just forget things, and that is kind of. I don't know, I, I write down things like people's birthdays and stuff, um, or take mental notes, you know, especially people that I care about, um, I just have that kind of, you know, a, a general understanding of, like, what they like and, you know, like, when their birthday is and stuff, and, like, what kind of gifts they get them, what their interests are and stuff, I think that's smart to do, um, like, for my mum, it's always, uh, Stella McCartney, um, <laughs> um, fucking, uh, perfume, I couldn't think of a word there, um, but yeah, it's, uh, I don't know. I think um, creativity is like a, it's a flow that comes in and out. Uh, it's like the waves. And uh, some of us are able to surf it and some of us just get drowned in it and can't get out, you know. And they, we get washed up on the shore and then we try again, you know. I think there's something going on about that. Um, For me, I, uh, I don't know. I always feel like I have a lot more potential than I actually am able to explore. Um, But I suppose it's just a, um, a thing to be done in time. Um, I think... Uh, 
yeah, I, I I expect too much of myself um, a lot of the time. I expect myself to have a massive Twitch following, to um, have insane influence, um, to have a podcast that's reaching hundreds of thousands of people. Um, I want all of that stuff because I want the influence to be able to help people, to be able to make people smile and do fucking good work for people. Um, but then I realized, like, I do have some form of influence and I have been able to help some people. And that's better than nothing. I think um, if I'm sitting here expecting more and more and more, I'll end up being ungrateful. You know, I'll end up kind of poisoning what I have already built. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I, I've had a lot of um, thinking recently about um, just trying to, you know, feel a bit more grateful and actually realize that I have done some good things. You know, I'm not a complete waste, man. Um, yeah, I don't know. Life is weird. Life is... um really sobered me up. Uh, I say that while drinking gin and tonic and Megalol. Uh, <laughs> I actually say a Megalol in real life now. I think you guys have probably seen that. Um, a Megalol is like a, a really big face laughing, right, on Twitch. That That's what the emote is. Um, can I just say, like, regular yellow emojis are shit. Like, compared to Twitch ones, man, they're absolutely woeful. Like, Franker Face and uh, Better Twitch TV, th those emote websites that integrate into Twitch are so much better. So much better than what you have on your phone. Um, I wish you could, like, somehow download emoji packs. That'd be cool. Um, maybe that will happen at some point. It seems like it will, right? I don't know. Like, is there some, like, patent on emojis? Um, maybe. I don't know. Fuck. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I think that uh, there's a lot that I, um doing that uh, I don't realize affects people um, in a positive way. And every single time I ever have a conversation with someone, every time I'm, you know, having banter uh, in the Discord or on stream or whatever, I always try and keep it positive. I always try and keep it optimistic. I, I, I'm certainly very real. Um, I think it's important not to be fake optimistic. So you're like, uh, you know, smiling through uh, a fucking tragedy. You know, I think you've got to um, have a balance of having banter and a sense of humor whenever things are shitty um like covid and whatever you've got to like help people through that especially the isolation and you know it's it's heartbreaking there's a lot of shit going on out there and the way that you get through that is you you have to keep the uh the spirits high you know as much as you can and whether that be with alcohol or not you know um but yeah i think it's important to keep a sense of positivity a sense of goodwill um but be willing to actually you know uh give people good advice and just um have a uh, give people a shoulder to rest on, you know, and they do the same for me. And I think that's super important. One of my friends was saying that he has seen a few communities that have this real um, kind of artificial vibe of being overly optimistic at all times. And it is so cringy, dude. It's just, it's so unrealistic. It's like, hey, guy, because I remember we were, we won once uh, raided this guy. Because um, a raid is basically when you bring your Twitch uh, people over to another stream, if you don't know that. Um, it's quite cool. It's a great way to, uh, you know, meet new people. And uh, for bigger streamers to help out smaller streamers and uh what happened is we raided this random guy who was on a recommended channel and his entire community was super toxic as soon as we came in they were just talking shit saying like oh what, what kind of raid is this uh you know just being fucking vile having arguments in their own chat and this guy was like hey guys it's so good to get to meet you uh we're a super positive community here and i was like oh my god bro are you serious like are you that delusional like, what is going on here, man? It's like cognitive dif dissonance. You can easily see that shit is going wrong. But you're like, hey ho, this is great. I love everything. You know, it's like, what the fuck is going on, man? You have to have a serious, like, look at yourself here, man. Um, yeah, ever since then, I've been like, okay, I need to make sure my community never comes like that, you know? Like, you've got to be um, as frank as possible and be fucking right there um, to have a good time with people. But whenever people are struggling, uh, let them know that they can actually talk, you know? Because, uh, yeah, there's nothing worse than feeling like you can't express yourself somewhere. Um, that's why in the Discord we have, like, this place called Life Talk as well. I think that's super important. Um, but, yeah, like, I say that I say that to the homies. You know, I'm just like, yo, uh, if you ever need, need somebody to talk to, man, I'm right here. I'm right here, man. Just, like, DM. Don't expect um, exquisite... Um, you know, uh, psychological advice. Uh, <laughs> I'm not a psychologist, but uh, I'll do my best to support you, at least listen to you, you know? Uh, I've got an ear here. I've got two, actually, Omega well. Um So if you need to need to speak to someone, then, you know, I'm there for it. Speaking of which, um, if you want to send any emails into Stephen Lee Podcast, I haven't even checked it. I'm going to check it, dude. <laughs> Pardon me, I'm going to look at it right now. If we have any emails, this would be unreal. Um, I'm not expecting anyone to have sent anything in because I've barely promoted it, and also we're very small. Um, at this current moment, but um, let's let's see what's going on. Right, I'm clicking on Gmail right now. Hold on, I'm gonna have a look here. Ah, can you taste the gin? 
Oh, it's just good, man. Yo, I just get someone subscribed to me called Uwu, guys. Let's go. Mm. StephanLeePodcast at gmail.com. Do we have any? No! Amazing. No emails. <laughs> Everyone hates me. There's no emails, bro. Um, I'll, I'll look in my spam. No spam. Hooray! No spam here. Um, if you'd like to send in some spam, I mean, if you'd like to send in some, like, amazing heartfelt letters about how much you love the podcast and you adore me, um, then uh, please send it to stephanleepodcast at gmail.com. <laughs> Yo, whoever's gonna get the first email in here is actually gonna be going down in like the Hall of Fame. Like, I swear to God, man, I will, without a shadow of a doubt, have you, um, it, like, I will, I will get your username and I will print it out and frame it, and it will be behind me, um, on stream at all times. I'm telling you, the first person that sends something in, um, yeah, whatever it is, what, I don't care what it is, dude. Um, but yeah, if you actually wanted to ever send something in, uh, you can there, or just put it in the comments, whatever the fuck, you know, and then I'll, I'll read comments. Um, uh, but yeah, like, thank you for the support you guys are giving anyway. Um, I feel like I'm just, I'm really trying to find my way with the podcast. I am a rambling, <laughs> in my mid 20s, boomer, uh, drunkard, um, who has. A lot of energy and a wild mind that I have to express. And uh, taming that in order to make actual proper content has always been difficult for me. Um, but, you know, uh, I'm getting there bit by bit. So thank you for supporting me if you have been. And if you haven't, then uh, um, I love you. But uh, fuck you, dick, right? Okay, just leave. Just get out of here, man. I'm, I'm kidding. But please stay, man. I need attention. I'm, I'm so sad. Uh, I'm a whore. Attention whore. Um, what was I going to say? I was going to say something. I totally lost my mind. I don't know, but just it just flooded away. Um, I have been looking at this um hill um that is uh really close to me, and I'm like, yo, I just want I want to keep like I keep thinking about going and walking up it. Um, and I just don't do it. So I think tomorrow morning. Um, no shit, my dad's here. Sunday on Sunday, I'm gonna go a walk up there, bro. I'm gonna go a walk up there and uh, look over the entire town, man. It looks like it's quite nice as well. Like I was looking at some pictures. Um, it's not even that far away. It's like two hours. So um yeah, it'll be a nice wee hike. Uh, up there and back again. Up there and back again. I can imagine it'd be quite busy because it's a Sunday. I don't know though, man. It's a nice chilled out uh, town, this anyway. Um, but yeah, it's gonna gonna be good to see my dad tomorrow. Um, I don't really have anything else to talk about. I don't really think. Um, if anyone has anything they want to say, uh, please do. Please send it into the podcast email. It's definitely podcast, and I'll get it read out and like uh, we can talk to each other. If you guys uh, let me know what you're doing. Like whenever you listen to the podcast, that's actually a good thing to type in. That's a good thing. What are you doing? Um, are you cooking? Are you driving? Are you just chilling out in your PC? You've got this open on Spotify. Uh, am I on your phone? Are you in the shower? Oh my god. Oh my lord. Look at you. You're looking amazing today. Fuck! Look at you! God damn! Uh, or like, what, 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 are you, what are you doing? I want to know. I want to know. Like, what, how is that? How do people listen to podcasts? How do I listen to podcasts? Are, are you trying to fall asleep? That's another thing, you know? Um, I think I'm a little bit too excitable for falling asleep too. I don't know though. Um... Because, like, I've fallen asleep to, like, Alex Jones. So, you know, <laughs> to Joey Diaz. Like, let me tell you this, Joe Rogan. Oh, uh, like, all that shit, dude. I actually haven't listened to Joey Diaz in ages, dude. I need my Joey fix. Uncle Joey. Um, see what he, that man's doing. Uh, yeah. Um, play, that's pretty much it. Pretty much it right there. I don't have any sports news or anything. Like, listen to po Bill Burr's podcast. He ends up, like, talking a whole shit ton about sports. Oh, I don't give a fuck about sports. Like, Really? Except for the fact that I meme uh, to Rose, one of my main moderators uh, on the Discord and on, on Twitch, that um, she supports the loser pool of Mega Uh You know, like, because Liverpool keep getting pumped. I, I don't know what's going on with that. And it was 9-0 to Man, Man U against Southampton, right? And then uh, Liverpool lost 1-0. So, like, uh, and we've got, like, a hardcore Man U fan as well, Crane, um, inside the... Discord and stream as well, and he talks a lot of shit. Um, it's hilarious. It's great. I just sit back and eat popcorn. It's amazing. Um, but yes, I think that's about it. You know, the only thing I really know about is esports. I've been watching a shit ton of Valorant esports, man. I fucking love that game so much, dude. Oh, but fuck, dude. I tried to play another agent. Um, so not Sova. Sova's this badass archery guy. Um, who like can shoot an arrow and it like uh like scans the area and shows you if there's any bad guys there and stuff. Um, he's fucking cool. Um, it, he's like one of the main reasons I want to learn archery. Um, my big brother and I wanted to do archery like a long time ago, um, but we just never did. Um, which was uh, I don't know, I don't know. It's uh, it's a bit shad actually. I remember I did make some bow and arrows and stuff when I was growing up. Um, out with like tree branches and rope. Um, but it was never sick as fuck, you know. But I want like a proper bow and like uh, have a target range outside that I can um set up and stuff. I think that'd be kind of cool. 
um yeah we'll see how that's all going uh eventually i need to just keep on saving my money though keep on saving my money i cannot be spending it in stupid shit um i'll maybe put it on my wish list and anyone want to buy me something because i'm a poor boy you know um i'll give you a big kiss virtually if you want one dude oh my god my friend sent me this thing it's like an egg with lips on it right and apparently you can program it right uh, by like kissing it um it's for people that are like long-term relationship people are are like oh, not long term long distance um relationship people can like buy this egg kiss the egg at the same time and it moves the lips like that's fucking disgusting like what what the fuck is that dude like literally a big egg that has lips on it like uh, what like are you supposed to, it looks like an egg uh, it's just oh my god what are people doing man i i just i, I that kind of shit just creeps me out bro that's just that's not even a sex toy it's just a fucking Weird. Oh god, I don't even want that. Oh, I don't even want to think about it. Oh, just oh, just, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. Thanks for that, Flump. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, been watching a shit ton of esports Valorant, and uh, I, I've. I still really want to get into shoutcasting. I don't know how to do it anymore. Um, I don't. I don't think I'll be able to host my own thing without uh, like a proper team behind me. Um. I do not know how they get all the angles and stuff. Um, there is th these people called a Scottish team called Skelp Esports, and those guys are doing really fucking well um, right now with like Rocket League and Call of Duty championships and stuff. I've been watching a bit of them, and it's quite interesting because I could probably get in on those. It doesn't have to be Valorant. It's just I know a lot about Valorant right now because I'm playing it a lot. Um, but you know that is how it is. Um, I'll work it out. I will. I will eventually do shoutcasting. I have been doing more voice acting too, which is fucking cool. Um, but, well, I mean, I say that I've been doing auditions and being paid for them. I haven't necessarily been get, getting jobs. I think I always feel so privileged whenever people ask me um, for an addition and pay me for it. Like, they come to me. That's crazy. It doesn't happen a lot, though. So I haven't made a lot of money off of voice acting in my life, but I have made money off it. And I think that is a, a fucking win um, for me. Especially uh, when I think about y young lad Steffi. The thing was, there was young lad Steffi um, when I was, like, 17. I wanted to move to Burbank. I wanted to move to America. Do I fuck want to do that now? Uh, it's crazy how uh, COVID and, like, uh, just the entirety of the Trump administration has, like, completely dissolved America's uh, attractiveness to me. Um, I don't know. We'll see how it all rolls out, especially everyone leaving Los Angeles as well to go to Texas as well. Like, all that mad stuff they do. But Funimation's down there, right? The anime people. Um, like, they, they dub over anime, so interesting um i don't know a lot of that stuff can be done online now as well especially with covid it's forced a lot of voice actors to be at home um i'll get into that more and more um i think i have a good voice i think i have a good ability to be a character and be animated and you know um create story i think that's uh that's something i find so be beautiful i, I love it uh, it's, it's a lot of fun um yeah so as i'm an actor um i don't really think i'll ever go back to like live action stuff like maybe as an extra but like i just find it so cringe and now there's like a big camera in my face that i'm not controlling i don't know um maybe i just need to find the right thing maybe i just need to you know um actually experience stuff like that i'm not sure i've only done like i've only been a prisoner in outlander a couple of times um and that was a long time ago i was legit 17 now uh, moving up to linlithgow this day with richie emily was just born um oh was she no, I don't think she would have been born. Was she? Fuck, I don't know. I mean, she's only five, so it would have been 19. Hmm, I don't think she was. I think she was about to be born, like, a year after or some shit. I don't fucking know. Uh, but Emily's amazing. Um, when I was, uh, you know, just, like, chilling out here, I got two monitors, and one of the monitors is the recording, and the other one is, like, a wallpaper, like, uh, roulette thing that goes around, and it came up with Emily. I miss her so much. It's my little niece, dude. Ah. Oh. Dude, she makes me want a daughter, but also, like, I'm glad that she's there because it means that I don't need a daughter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, and I think uh, me having a daughter right now would be one of the worst uh, moves I've ever done in my life um, because I am but a child myself. So it is what it is. Um, but yeah, I don't know. If anyone ever wants to have a daughter and call them Aurora, uh, then come to me, you know. Aurora. It's such a nice name, right? It's kind of hard to say, though. Aurora. Um, Aurora. Or Aurora. Uh, Aurora, <laughs> like uh, Aurora, Aurora Borealis. See, you do because I'm Scottish. Like, uh, it's I. It's like a uh, purple burglar alarm. You know, I mean, I can say that quite easily. Actually, purple burglar alarm. Um, Aurora, 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 Aurora. How do, how does Google say Aurora? Hold on, Aurora. How, how does how does a Google lady say it? Um, hold on, I'll put definition. Definition. It's, it's it, but I'd love to be able to um, actually like have the nickname to give my daughter of Auri. 
I think that's lovely. Aurora. Oh, Aurora. 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 <laughs> you see, she's English though. For me, as a Scottish guy, Aurora. Oh, oh, it's A U R O R A. I think it's beautiful. It looks so clean as well, man. It's a really nice name, dude. The thing is, is I actually look at names for human beings as I would gamer tags. <laughs> Which is hilarious, but it is, it is who it is, you know, this is, the internet's maturing, uh, and we're like, you know, that, that's just what life's about now, is uh, how aesthetically pleasing your name is. Um, so yeah, like, my, mine's Steffi everywhere now, I really like Steffi, can't wait till I can get that on Twitch. I actually asked the guy um, on Twitch uh, that has Steffi, I was like, hey, can I steal your username, please? Um, I wonder if he's applied. I don't think he has. Um, the thing is, though, is this guy hasn't used Twitch in years, um, which is, you know, always so heartbreaking because, yeah, I said, hey, can I, I said, hey, can I pretty please have your username? I'm a regular streamer and initially wanted your username. You'll be regarded as a hero in our community. No reply. And I don't ever expect to receive one. <laughs> but fuck it, you know, you gotta, you gotta try, you gotta shoot your shot, boys. Right, speaking of shooting your shot, Pause Champ, I uh, hope everyone has an absolute wonderful February 14th. Um... If you're, if you're thinking about that lady or that boy uh, or, or uh, someone in between, uh, fucking try it. Shoot your shots, see my arms. Um, I mean, I say that, dude, and I'm sitting here like, mm, I'm too scared. I'm too scared. I don't want to ruin the relationship. Uh, but for real, uh, try and enjoy yourself as much as you can. If you uh, don't have a lovely person to send a message to, then join my Discord, right? Click on the um, Send Love to Someone channel, which is underneath the general channel, and then click on the kudo board, and then send some fucking love to someone there, you know? Just fucking put your love out there. Express some love on the 14th instead of being depressed that you don't have a lady uh, or, or a man. Uh, um, but yeah, it is what it is. Um, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between, I hope you've had an absolute fucking wonderful week. Enjoy your weekend. I hope it's splendiferous. I will be uh, helping my dad tomorrow to, uh, you know, move the couches and stuff. Dude, he wants me back. He wants me back to live with them, and I'm like, nah, dad, I'm alright. <laughs> I'm alright, dad. <laughs> He's like, yeah, he said, like, yeah, just come down for a couple of weeks just to help the cats be settled. I'm like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> a couple of days at most, dude. I'm an adult, Dad! I make videos, I put them on the internet, and I stream to 20 people. I am a man! Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm a fucking child, but, you know, um, I'm an independent child, you know? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um, it is what it is, um, though. I mean, I love my parents, um, and I love my cats, and I love my brothers, and I love my people. So, thank you for being here if you are. Um, anyway! There's your fucking podcast. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you didn't, then fucking send me a really, like, anger, like, a, a hate mail um, to stephanleepodcast at gmail.com, right? I expect it. Um, the word of the day is Maybelline. All right? Maybe it's Maybelline. So please say Maybelline in the uh, comments or on the Discord. I should put it in Discord general chat, right? Then you're a true one. You're a real one, right? Maybelline. Maybe it's Maybelline. You can put that tagline as well, like in, uh, in italics, if you really want, with a wee register trademark. That'd be sick as fuck. Um, anyway, yes, um, enjoy yourself. I will catch you guys after. Thank you so much for coming on in for this absolute blast of a podcast. As I say, I'm most likely just going to be recording a bunch of solo ones and stuff. Um, because it's just the most accessible for me. Um, but we will get guests on. It will happen. I'll, j I'll talk to people, I'll see what's going on, and then, you know, every once in a while, we'll have someone on. I think that's the best way. So, uh, if you like my voice, if you like my thoughts, then, uh, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Like, actually? Th th you you actually like me? What the fuck, dude? Yo, can we hook up, man? I mean, dude, I'm lonely out here! <laughs> COVID! Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, Jesus. Moving on. Moving on. Yeah, let's just keep, keep walking. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, anyway, love you very much. Thank you so for uh, tuning on in. I will see you on the next one or hear you on the, the next one or like voice you. I don't I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna stop this now um thank you very much for being here ladies and gentlemen and everyone in between you beautiful people don't be a cunt enjoy yourself have a great weekend and uh yeah big love catch you after